leading incendiary experts feared Berlin would prove more difficult to bomb than other German cities. During World War II, by the end of Big Week, the Americans decided it was time to change tactics in the battle for air superiority. The new plan was to force the Luftwaffe into battle. They thought the best way to do this, would be to attack Berlin. Between 1940 and 1943, the RAF had bombed Berlin several times, with moderate success. Large Allied attacks on Hamburg and Dresden had caused firestorms that devastated the cities, with huge death tolls. Leading incendiary experts feared Berlin would prove more difficult to bomb than other German cities. The reason was Berlin houses were of better build quality, and city blocks were more separated from each other. To prepare for the Berlin bombings, the U.S. Army constructed a mock German village at the Dugway Proving Ground in Utah. The village was modeled after the densely populated poorer quarters of Berlin. The replica village was used to perfect fire bombings tactics to create a firestorm. The village was designed by German architects, such as Eric Mendelssohn. They made sure the correct building materials were used for the construction. Skilled Hollywood interior decorators were used to make the interior as real as possible. The furniture was made by workers who were trained in Germany. Even German textiles were used. The village buildings were constructed by inmates from Utah State Prison in 44 days. A Japanese village was made as well. The buildings were faithful duplicates of the original houses, only smaller. Building 8100 is still standing even today. The British plan was to take the roof from over the head of the German industrial worker. The official position of the U.S. was to never intentionally target the small man in the street. However the existence of the German village shows another side of the story. In November 1943 the aerial battle over Berlin was initiated. Between November 1943 and March 1944, the RAF conducted 16 major raids on Berlin. In November 1943 the aerial battle over Berlin was initiated. Between November 1943 and March 1944, the RAF conducted 16 major raids on Berlin. The aim of the high explosives were to kill the firemen and rescue workers. A firestorm like the one in Dresden was avoided, but damages were huge. 1.5 million Berliners were made homeless. Nearly 10,000 people were killed. Although these raids caused huge damage and loss of life, they failed to achieve their objectives. The German morale was not broken. The defense of the city did not collapse and the war production did not fall. However the raids cost the RAF more than 500 aircraft and almost 2,700 crew members were killed. British official historians actually consider the Battle of Berlin a failure, even a defeat. In the early morning of February 3, 1943, almost 1,000 U.S. Army Air Forces B-17 bombers attacked the Berlin railway system. They were escorted by 575 P-51 Mustang fighters. The bombers used high explosives and not incendiary bombs, but still caused a city fire that lasted four days. Although close to 1,600 aircraft participated in the raid, only 36 were lost. Severe destruction was caused in the city, but the death toll was lower than it could have been. Still 2,894 people were killed, and 120,000 people were made homeless. The raids continued until April 1945, when the Soviet Red Army was outside the city. In the final days of the war, the Soviet Union bombed Berlin as well. The infrastructure and civil defense of the city nearly collapsed, but the civilian morale was upheld. Up until March 1945 there had been a total of 314 air raids on Berlin. 20,000 to 50,000 people were killed. While this is a horrific number of dead, the death toll is low compared to that of cities like Dresden and Hamburg. During the war RAF dropped 955,000 tons of bombs over Europe. The U.S. Army Air Forces dropped 624,000 tons. In Germany, 353,000 to 635,000 people were killed by the Allied strategic bombing campaign. More than 160,000 Allied airmen and 33,700 aircraft were lost over Europe.